Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Sarasota, Florida and we're steps away from the white sand peaches of Lido Beach and the crystal blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico. We're gonna show you this home behind me that's listed by Ryan from Colwell Bankers. I wanna thank Ryan so much for allowing us to film his beautiful listing behind us. The home itself was actually designed by the renowned DSDG Architect Group and it is an amazing style influenced by the modern Miami Beach Art Deco movement. So I want to talk a little bit about the home. So follow me this direction. The home itself is a five bedroom, five full bath, one half bath home with 5,117 square feet of living over four floors. We have the first floor that has these garages and you can see they have actually four garage doors here on the front of the home. And then we also have one on the other. We'll talk about the garage when we go into the garage. But what's really interesting about this is to get it actually passed by the city, they had to put these beautiful glass doors on here for it to actually pass. Of course, we have the carriage lights and you can see how tall it is with the beautiful white and black design. And then the tile work that goes up the center, which is actually an Italian tile that is actually a very expensive tile signed by the actual artist who made the ceramic tile on the back of each of the tiles. And you'll see that throughout the home as well. So as we come over here, we're gonna actually see that we do have lots of cactus plants all the way around. And in the back of the home, we actually do have some fruit trees as well that we'll talk about later. And all this stonework here is not actually stone. This is actually granite here on the actual floor. So they've actually done that to make sure that the actual colors stay, which you get with granite that you would not get with rock. So the front of the house, as you can see, has a nice entryway, these two beautiful glass doors, and of course the tile work going up to the overhang here as well. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this amazing home. So as I come into home, the first thing I notice are these beautiful porcelain tiles. They're grays and whites, which are absolutely amazing. And then one thing that the owner did is that he decided he wanted these custom metal inserts that you'll see throughout the home. Now, the hallway itself is very wide and you'll see that this is actually a wallpaper on this wall that goes really well with the tile work that's actually behind the camera that we'll show you in just a minute. Now, above me, we have very, very high ceilings. And what they've done is done some inserts in the ceiling itself, painted those black, and they have LED lights around there, which look amazing when they are on in the evening. So as I come over here, the first thing that you'll see is this elevator. Now, this is not like your usual residential elevator where you have to manually open and close those little wire things. This is actually a commercial grade uh, uh, elevator where you just push the button and it automatically opens and closes. It goes all the way up to the fourth floor office. I can't wait to show you on that deck as well. Beautiful, beautiful views up there. So let's go ahead and go into the garage, which is what the majority of the first floor consists of of. So as I walk into the garage, the first thing I do notice here are the actual colors. The floors are black, gray, and red, and that matches the actual walls that are gray, and of course the ceilings, which are black and red. Absolutely beautiful. And then as we come over in this direction, you'll see that we have the three standard garage doors, and then also we do have a 12-foot door over here. And then as I go over onto the other side, we do have a separate garage door over here. This is a 14-foot garage door, so if you have an RV or a big boat, you'll be able to actually bring it right in. And as you can see, the garage goes all the way back to the end. Now on this side, all the way at the end, we do have a lift. This lift is actually rated for 10,000 pounds. So you can actually put two cars here. The, the garage itself can easily handle 14 cars. So having a 14 garage, car garage steps away from Lido Beach is just unheard of. So if you are a car person and you wanna be close to the beach, this is the house that you need to get. So come on ahead and follow me this direction. Let's go back at inside the home. And as I come in here, we'll talk a little bit about the stairs. Now, as Haley goes over towards where the front door is, you'll get to see a good view of the entry of what people see when they come in through the front door. And the one thing that you'll notice, of course, is the black and the whites. And then this is tile. And the tile is done in like a three-dimensional way that really shimmers really well when the light hits it. So that's pretty neat. And as we go up the stairs, the stairs also has a porcelain tile with the metal inserts. Not only metal on the edges, but metal also in the middle. And then metal railings. And then this cable here, this cable is also a custom cable just for this home, typically they're a quarter inch cables. This one's the three eighth inch cable. So it's actually pretty hard to do, believe it or not, to get that extra thickness, but I think it makes it look just that much better. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and show you the kitchen area and the second floor of this home. All right, so here we are on the second floor of this home. So we're gonna go ahead and go down this hallway to the left first. 
and show you what I have here. First of all, it's a little sitting area where you can sit here and enjoy the views from these windows. And these are amazing windows. You have two of them. This actually goes all the way up to the third story. So it's very, very high ceilings here. Now these windows, all of them have automatic shades that come down where you can actually put privacy shade or just actually want to help with the sun coming through. So as we go through here, we do have our first half bath. So as you go into the half bath, we see that we have the actual white cabinets and what's called shark tooth countertops here. So this is a granite called shark tooth and then also the sink and also faucet. And then check out this toilet. As you come close to the toilet, it just automatically opens up with a sensor. And also we see the mirror and also light fixture. So a pretty neat half bathroom. So let's go ahead and go across the hallway and show you what we have over here. So this is bedroom number two. So as I come into bedroom number two, the first thing I do is show you this door. Also custom, this glass is custom with the opaque glass so you can't see through it. And the door itself is actually thicker than your typical door. And then the hinge is actually a four hinge, inch hinge, which is also thicker. And we have ball bearing in the hinge as well so they don't get the squeaking that you get in some doors. So come on ahead in and come into the actual second bedroom. So as we come in here, you notice that we still have that porcelain floor throughout this bedroom as well. And also the metal inserts, but they have it going two different directions and it actually forms a nice rectangle around the porcelain tile. Now on the far wall, you'll see that we actually have black wallpaper that matches the white wallpaper that you see throughout the house and the window itself absolutely amazing views out there you can see palm trees the white beaches of lido and then also the gulf of mexico on my behind me right here is also going to be the closet plenty of storage areas and actually drawers for all your closet needs and then on the end of the bed they even have lights on either side of the bed as well so follow me this direction we'll show you the bathroom so as we come through here this will be one of the ba uh, bathrooms and then we see we have the same white cabinets countertop, which is the shark tooth granite sink. And then of course the faucet mirror light fixture. And of course we have the toilet and also the shower frameless shower with some nice black square tiles on the floor. And then of course subway tiles going all the way up with this beautiful blue tile as an accent going up on the side as well. Now the actual drawer itself is nice. And what's really neat is that it goes around the sink plumbing. So you still have plenty of space for all your storage in there as well. And everything's just automatically soft close. So follow me this direction. We got lots to see still. So as I come over here, the elevator comes out here. And the nice thing about this being it was designed every floor, the elevator in a really good spot because we've seen some houses where the elevators don't come out in the best spot. This is perfect. And then we do have another door here. This door goes to another bedroom that's exactly like the one we we're just in, except where it has a sliding glass door going out to the actual balcony. We can't go in there right now, but it's pretty much the exact same as the one we just saw. Over on my right, your left is going to be the laundry room. Nice size laundry room, as you can see, we have a dishwasher in here as well. And we have the same cabinets and also countertops. We have our washer and dryer. We have a nice stainless steel sink. And of course, a window looking out. Even that window has the automatic uh, shades on it as well. So as you can see, every single window has got you covered for privacy and also to keep some of the heat out. So the next step, oh, actually right over here would be the pantry. So if I open this up, it currently has some stuff in here, but you can get the idea of the pantry. So you have the air handler in there and then plenty of space for all your dry goods. And of course the kitchen is right across from the pantry. So let's go ahead and go over to the kitchen and show you the actual kitchen. So the first thing that stands out, of course, is the center island. It's a large center island kitchen, a little bit elevated as well. We have that same shark tooth granite with the waterfall edge on both sides, which is really nice. And we even have a little insert for the chairs. They currently have three chairs here. So if you want to enjoy morning breakfast or coffee, you have that option as well. So Follow me this direction, let's talk about the kitchen. Now, the cool thing about this kitchen is a lot of electronics going on in the kitchen. For example, if your hands are dirty and you need to get to the trash, all you can do is you just hit your knee like that. It automatically opens up. You can put the stuff in the trash and then you just close it right back down. And then if you need to wash your hands after that, you just touch this, you get the water. And then not only that, it has a commercial grade soap dispenser that you just put your hand in here and then the soap comes out and they've actually custom painted it to match the actual countertop. And that's really neat. You just get everything done, do that. And then we have our refrigerator. So refrigerator is a sub zero refrigerator. We have our freezer on this side. We have a wine cooler on this side and it allows for two different zones for your white wines and your red wines. You can change the temperature on each. So you have plenty of space there for all your wines. And then of course the refrigerator gets you the idea of the space in the freezer as well. So as we continue to go down, you see we have plenty of drawers and then we come over to the actual stove top. It is a six burner gas stove top with a barbecue area as well. And then we even have a commercial grade air vent 
above it that will vent all those smells out. Another custom feature that this build, that this, this actual owner did was actually do a pot filler coming out of the counter. So this was a pretty difficult one to do, but they have it. So you have your pot filler right there also. Now on the other side, we have plenty of other cabinets and drawers going all the way through. But again, if you just wanted to open it up and you didn't want to actually touch it, you can just push the button like that and then it automatically opens up all electronic and then when you want to close it you just push this button and it closes back down isn't that cool that's cool so okay the backsplash itself the backsplash is gray but it's three-dimensional looking so you can see but it is smooth they have sort of like a glass coating on the actual outside and then all the outlets are here also just push open so you have all the outlets that you need now of course that actual tile goes all the way up past the actual cabinets all the way up to the ceiling as well, which is really neat. So as we come over here, we have another sink. The sink has a couple windows looking out also with the blinds. So you can look out to the side of the home and the street as well, see all the tropical landscaping out there. And then we have our high-end dishwasher. So dishwasher number two, and then we continue to go through and we have our wolf oven and microwave. So it has all the different appliances you want. And of course, we have the waterfall edge on this side also. So right behind the kitchen is gonna be the family room. Check this out, absolutely beautiful views. Of course, we have the family room TV there on the end. Lots and lots of windows. All these windows have the automatic push of a button where you can come down and put the blinds down for the privacy if you so desire. Of course, we have the recessed lights. We have surround sound speakers throughout the whole house. And of course, the air vents are those upgraded air vents that you see in the most custom homes of what we tour. So as we go over here, we see I have our dining room, but before we hit the dining room, let's go over and hit the little breakfast nook area that has the coffee, I should say coffee area. So we have a ice maker, we have the white cabinets, we have the actual shark tooth granite countertop, the same three dimensional tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Of course, cabinets here, we have our coffee maker and we have a couple refrigerator drawers and that's right next to the dining room so you come over to the dining room this beautiful table sits eight people and of course this light fixture with these beautiful colors that come down from the light fixture behind me is this amazing sliding glass door that opens up completely going out to the second floor uh, balcony so let's go ahead and go out there and check that out all right so let's check out this first balcony this is the second floor balcony they have the third floor balcony and also the rooftop balcony that we get to see but as i open this up you'll see how we can open up the outdoor to the indoor which is really neat and of course you could do it for the other sliding glass door on the other side too as i come out here we also have that beautiful tile porcelain tile that comes out to the actual balcony as well we have a sitting area here and as i'm sitting here all i'm seeing right now is a beautiful beach behind haley uh, and also that of course the crystal blue waters of the gulf of mexico so as we come out here we also see that we do have an outdoor dining area and we have a pirate so this is actually known as the pirate house because everyone knows this pirate as they walk to the beach just around the corner from here and then as we continue to go through you can see the amazing views as Haley goes back of the actual beach and of course the water behind me now over on this direction we still have some more cool things to talk about and that's we have the sliding glass door that goes into that bedroom that we didn't get into and of course we do have a summer kitchen we have a nice barbecue and of course countertop they even have a sink that's above the actual counter with the actual faucet and this gets you a really nice close up of that Italian ceramic tile that's signed by the artist in Italy on the back of each of these tiles which is really nice absolutely beautiful like silvers and blacks amazing tile so let's go ahead and go back through and then go up to the third floor and show you that but if you're enjoying watching this so far make sure you like this video also subscribe to our channel we definitely appreciate it and also if you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in Florida let us know we'll get you in touch with our partners like Ryan here in Sarasota they'll take very good care of you whether you're looking for a three hundred thousand dollar condo or a ten million dollar luxury house like this will be able to help you. So let's go ahead and go upstairs. Now, before we go up to the third floor, I do want to talk a little bit about the stairs. The stairs change from that porcelain tile to this commercial grade actual flooring going up. And as we continue to go up, you see the tile work and the tile sort of actually curves with the roof going up to the third floor. So I'll go ahead and see you up there. All right, so here we are on the third floor of this beautiful home. So as I come up here, you'll notice that we have the same porcelain tiles with the metal inserts going throughout the third floor as well. Of course, behind me, you see that extended ceiling and of course the window that we saw on the second floor. And then right next to it is the elevator. Again, the elevator comes out into the perfect spot and we have our landing in this area with a little sitting area. So this is a cool little area as well. Now, if I go over to the left, we go through to bedroom number four. So follow me over here and we'll show you this. So we come over and we get into some nice upgraded car it and here's the nice size bed we do have a window that looks out onto the beach as well and then of course a sliding glass door so let's go ahead and open up this sliding glass door and step out and show you what we have here so as you can see the actual view from here is amazing as well and this actual balcony does go all the way around 
into where the primary bedroom suite is as well. And you can see that Italian tile that's on the wall here also. So let's go ahead and go back and show you. This is also an ensuite. So we do have an actual bathroom. So as I come to the bathroom, we have the porcelain tile as well. Of course, we have the white cabinets, the shark tooth countertop and sink, and of course the mirror. And then over here, we do have a really nice size shower with the actual black square tiles, white subway tiles with the beautiful black decor tiles in the center. So a very nice shower also. So the next step would be the actual closet. They do have a walk-in closet right around the corner here. So right here, so plenty of space here to put all your clothes. The next step would be bedroom number five. So it's right across the hallway. So as we go, we can see we have wallpaper on either side. We do have that Italian tile also going into the primary bedroom suite. This door over here just goes into an air handler, but this will be bedroom number five. So follow me this direction. So as you can see, another nice size bed bedroom. We have that same white wallpaper and black wallpaper on the walls. And then of course we do have a walk-in closet here as well with plenty of storage space. And then this one's also an ensuite, has its own shower as well. So right along here, we move into that porcelain tile. And of course we do have that white, ca uh, white cabinet and then the shark tooth countertop sink mirror, light fixture. And then over here, we do have the shower. The shower has really nice blue, like sort of iridescent sort of style tile going on either side of the shower too, which I think is really neat. I think it's really beautiful, but that's not the most beautiful one. The most beautiful ones over in the actual primary bedroom suite, which is our next stop. So let's go ahead and go over there and show you. So as we come through here, we do have sliding doors that go on either side to the bedroom suite, as you can see. So you just open it up and come into the primary bedroom. So we do have a king size bed, a couple of end tables. We have that same white and black wallpaper. And of course the sliding sliders go all the way around. And then of course you see the view that we'll show you in just one second. But before we show you the view, we go over here and we show you a little breakfast area where we have the cabinets. And then of course the countertop, a little refrigerator, coffee maker. So you have everything you need in the primary bedroom suite. But where Haley is, is sort of like where the actual bed is. So you, when you wake up in the morning, this is the view that you get from your bedroom. So isn't that amazing? That's a $10 million view right there. So anyway, so let's go ahead and go this direction and show you the primary bathroom. So we come through here and you see you have plenty of space here. These have the metal inserts in a square shape around those actual porcelain tiles. We do have the double sinks, of course, the white counter white cabinets, the actual shark tooth countertops, the three dimensional tiles and these light fixtures with the actual light fixture in the mirror. And then if you follow me this direction, over on my left is gonna be the water closet, but what's really neat is what's around this corner. So as we come through here, we go into the actual shower. So follow me through the shower and let's talk a little bit about the shower. So as we come into the shower, we have the black tile on the floor. And of course this really, really beautiful tile that goes up here in the center. And it goes all the way actually onto the ceiling. So we have tile on the ceiling, which is really neat. I don't see that too often. I think it might be the first time that me and Haley have seen it in the house. But another thing that's really neat is the actual tile that's on the wall. These are 36 by 36 tiles that are imported and each tile work weighs 75 pounds. So just imagine having to put these tiles on the wall. That's pretty impressive. And of course, we even have a TV here in the shower with all the shower heads and everything you need. And then of course, as you're taking a shower, check that view. You have the view of the beach right there. Isn't that cool? So follow me this direction. Let's keep on going. And the next step would be the actual tub. So you have a little garden tub here that you can sit and relax. Also see the amazing views from that direction also. And then as we go into the closet, you see you have plenty of space here for all your clothes, plenty of drawers, even an island also in the closet. And then over on the other side, you have more storage, including a washer and dryer. And there's also another closet on the other side also. So let's go ahead and go back this direction and go outside again. These are sliders that open completely off. And one thing I didn't mention about the sliders downstairs, well, first of all, those sliders on the second floor, they actually have 14 foot height glass, which is custom as well. Uh, but another thing is, is that the actual blinds are hidden within the ceiling. So if you look really closely, you can see the blinds are actually there. So you don't even see it until they actually put them down. So that's pretty neat. But let's go ahead and go outside and take a tour outside again. We have that same porcelain tile and metal inserts out here, a couple little sitting areas, and then you can sit out here and enjoy the amazing, beautiful views. And from here as well, we can see the backyard garden. So the backyard garden is all about fruit trees. They have tons of fruit trees. They have actually a key lime fruit tree, which is for key lime pie, not your typical limes, but key limes. And then they also have blackberries. 
They have papaya, bananas, they have plenty of avocado trees. They also have an orange tree and then also a lemon tree out in the backyard. So you can get all of the fruit that you need right there in the backyard, which is really neat. So anyway, let's go ahead and go back and take the elevator up to the fourth floor office. And if you're watching this and you happen to be a listing agent and you have a luxury listing that you think would do well on our channel, make sure you give me a call. Again, my name is Mike. My phone number is 407-487-3030. We love to feature luxury homes here on the channel. Be more than happy to come and check it out. So let's go ahead and hit the elevator and take it up to the actual fourth floor. All right, so we're here on the fourth floor, and this is just like a little tiny office that's available on the fourth floor. You can open up this window, look out at the actual beach, and of course, you can put a little table out here. That's what they used to have. They had a table with an office, and of course, the monitor there. But the cool part is what's out here. So let's go ahead and open this door and go out onto the deck. As we go up on the deck, you'll just be amazed at the, uh, the views out here. So the first thing we'll do is go over to the left. The left has a summer kitchen. Upstairs, we have the barbecue. We also have the refrigerator and of course the faucet. And then you can see the views from here, the amazing houses down here also. You can actually see downtown Sarasota. You have Armin Circle. That's just the walking distance from here as well. And then of course we can come over. We have a spa, it's a bullfrog spa here on the actual roof. And as we continue to go around, the best part is the amazing view that you have right behind me, which is Lido Beach, the White Sands, and the Gulf of Mexico. So me and Haley want to thank everyone for watching and hope to see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.